Man, Randy, do you remember those double dates we used to do where <laughs> I'd bring I'd bring Martha over and you'd have your latest senorita and we would collectively sing a turn of the century bluegrass jam. <laughs> And then when that was over, I aggressively <laughs> shut down any notion of cake so I could completely ignore you and your date to whisper sweet nothings in my wife's ear. Do you remember that? I do, <laughs> do remember, remember that because I remember how awkward it was when I was such a spindly armed dickwad and I couldn't even put my right arm over the lady. And, yeah, my left that's, arm. Exactly, yeah. that's exactly what fucking happens here. Exactly what happens. Yeah. I've lost I've lost some weight because uh, I'm on a, a very strict diet and, and uh, workout regimen. Oh, vagina so I, and Kit Kats. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I had to uh, pad myself down, but uh, I was in the mall doing the mall Santa gig, and uh, this mother comes in, no kid, in line, very, very distraught, and she comes up, and I first said, you know, would you like to sit on my lap, and got a little joke, but. Uh, she, would. she wasn't having it. She was very sad. And I said, ma'am, what, what's wrong? She goes, all I want for Christmas, Santa Claus, is for you to come to the hospital and visit my son who only has hours to live. Is, he, is she German? Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> in, this, in this version of the story, she's, she's very, is he German? <laughs> and I said, all right, ma'am, you know what? I'll make that happen. I'll, after I get out of here, I'm gonna, so I drove over to... Uh, Nations Wide Children's Hospital, um, went inside and found found her in her family. There were seven, they all had cogs on, which is weird, but uh, found them <laughs> in the waiting room. They led me up to the little boy, and I go in his room, and he goes, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. And I said, they call me Chris Kringle, but whatever. <laughs> I walk over to his bed, kind of sashayed a little bit because the suit was a little itchy. And I sat down and I went, uh, what can I do for you, little boy? What would you like for Christmas? And he says, I want the doctors to find a cure. And I went, ooh, that's a tall order. Uh, mm, tell you what, uh, probably not going to happen in two hours. But when you get to heaven, you tell them St. Nick sent you. All right. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. And he goes, oh, thank you, Santa Claus. And he hugged me. That voice is sorry. <laughs> thank you so much, Santa Claus. <laughs> it's like a little Italian, a little German. <laughs> like it's very used to <laughs> And he hugged me. And I said, that's going to be all right. And he goes, ah. <laughs> Thank you. Died. He died in my arms. That's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I'm telling all of you this story now is a hope. Hope that you'll love your loved ones this holiday season. And if you're thinking, I may have heard this story on the national news and found out it was a hoax by another Santa Claus, <laughs> you say, God damn it, no. It's a true story. I heard it on True Stories I Just Made Up, starring Ray McGuff. <laughs> J.T. Farmer. Yeah. <laughs> that is an awesome story. But she has some like, sweet-ass mom jeans. Did you see those? They're fucking sweet. I love a good like mom a, jeans. Like a... Don't say it. <laughs> like a Don't diapery ass or something. <laughs> oh, like, I thought you were going like to say it. I you say. Like a soupy butt. <laughs> it's like, like a lot of room in the in the dumper. <laughs> kind of high waisted <laughs> dumper. High weight. Oh, uh, no. high. I thought you were gonna say a camel toe. A camel that's toe. usually what mom jeans give you. Oh, I didn't know. That, that's never a good thing to have. Maybe there was. She's pissed that he might oh, no, die. I don't know. I just and she won't take him to the airport. And he calls the the chief, but the chief has no fucking control. At all over the situation. He can't control Piper. He can't control Chiba. There's a Chiba. Chiba. <laughs> There's a Chiba Piper epidemic. He won't. Rowdy, rowdy Piper. <laughs> he has no control. I just like to say it. But uh, he's he's going to go and help uh, Tom. John. I, Pi Piper. 
I'm close to the Roddy Piper. <laughs> 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 I've heard you say that name so many goddamn times. The last I know, couple I know, of days, I'm, just, I'm sick of that name. Just, Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, <laughs> all day long. I was just, <laughs> I was just about to say I, I've said Piper a lot. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to pipe down. That's what I need to do. <laughs> but uh, Rowdy Roddy.